What's up everybody? I'm Mark and this is Better at Beach. Today we're going to give you a look inside a high level arm swing training with one of our open players, Sienna. We're going to take a look at everything she does with her arm swing and try to make some crucial fixes. Some of this stuff might be pretty high level because she's an open player, so I hope you stick around and you enjoy the video. Okay, so now <laughs> we have sound and we're helping Sienna fix uh, her arm swing and we're trying to add some rotation because if we look at the first bunch of videos, we're gonna go from the beginning and we're gonna do a little comparison. In the beginning, we were going super straight up and down. So we'll take a look at it. Good double arm lift, but you can tell that you break there. Okay, so. Chest stays forward. The furthest our elbow retreats is there. Okay, so elbow is too high because we can't pinch the rhomboids. We can't get the shoulder blades to open. And we don't have any thoracic rotation. There's no rotation. Okay, now, are we focused? Are we focused? Okay, now let's see the second swing there. Nope, that's an overpass. Second swing. Here it is. Good hip position. That's a better reach back, but there's a lot of back arch there, so we're not twisting through the thoracic. Now, let's see after 45 minutes where we're at. Okay. So, this is her in standing mode. This is the rotation we can see. Boom. That's you activating the hips a little bit, right? But you can see how much your chest can open. It's well beyond. Now let's see if we get there in the air. So big step that forces you to take a breaking step. That's the same position, so we're not quite there yet. It's a nice high snap though. Rotating. Are you rotating? Are you rotating? No. Not so, so much. It's inside my body, I'm not rotating. I'm not rotating. Uh, tip position. Boom. Look at the difference in your elbow position. Yeah. See that? Your hand is like kind of by your temple. Yeah. That's fine, but we could see like both pecs. Hips lock, boom, now you're coming through. You see that spacing? Mm -hmm. How far back your elbow is? Yeah. That is a huge difference. That's the difference between a jab and like a right hook when you're opening somebody up. <laughs> this separation from your head is monster. Good, now you have space to generate speed. Let's see the next one. So we're opening better. Do we rotate on this one? And hip position on middle is good. Rotated to the middle. Yeah, just had to shorten something. So we didn't quite get to that big open wide head position. Yeah, right? So that was a mistiming perhaps. Mm -hmm. Shortening the last two steps. We gotta prevent that. Ooh. <laughs> this is good. Yes! You see that giant window? Yeah. That's a monster difference. Now, of course, we have to keep that ball slightly in front of us. Okay. What's gonna help is the smaller steps earlier. Okay. But if you connect with that ball in front of your body with all that space that you generated, this time you didn't generate it. Okay. Right, there's, you don't have that separation between your elbow and your head. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Good jump, strong core. A little bit better. Max elbow distance was there. Pretty good. I think you can rotate more through your chest, yeah. right? Because we can't see both pecs there. Okay. okay. Full approach. Good. Small. Nice. Just slightly bigger. That was it. Yeah. 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 And the last one, which is not going to be in slow motion, but hopefully it's good. Ooh, yeah. if we had that in slow motion, you could see that window up here. Watch, 
You see the space between your forearm and your head? Yeah, and then it's fast, okay. <laughs> see how fast it came through? Yes. Let's get the rotation drill from in front of the camera. Hips stay locked on center. Loose, loose, loose. Now it, that's loose. Good, good. No, rotate with your back. There. Yep. Yep. <laughs> loose arm. Good. Now, once you're here, here's what's going to happen next. That's going to happen. So, this is going to feel like dead weight behind it and then it comes through on its own. So instead of swinging forward, I want you to rotate forward. Initiate with a rotate, yes. Rotate high. The first thing that I need you to do is get this to hit me. Oh. So go from here, good, good. Come through me, good. Hit me, yep. Loose, all the way, fast, hit me. Yeah, I want you to get a red tricep. So you're not rotating quite yet. You can't tighten if we rotate. <laughs> it's stuck. Uh -huh. Here, completely relax, completely relax. No, you tightened. Oh, you're a little tight. So your lats are tight. Okay, you're loose, then we come through. Good, you're loose, yes, yes. So this initiates it now. Now, go ahead, leave your hand back, leave it completely loose, but activate this. Now, rotate and rotate, good, and rotate. Rotate it, rotate it. That, that, that. Feel how your hand becomes like dead weight there? Your hand starts to feel heavy. And that's how it should feel. It shouldn't feel like your hand initiates it. It should feel like your hand is the last thing to come through and it's like a, a rock attached to a string. Okay, so rotation, looseness. Rotation from oblique. Rotation from here and your hand just kind of Does nothing. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video so far and it's giving you a ton of really good arm swing information Just so you know at betteratbeach.com and you can find it in the links below We have an amazing course. It's called fix your arm swing in 21 days and it comes packed with videos tutorials and drills that you can do at home and on the court that will help you fix your arm swing Everyone in our courses also gets access to our Facebook group, the Elite Performers Tribe. It's a private group where you get to post all of your videos and we go ahead and we critique your videos. You get to meet with me every week live in a webinar format where you can also ask your questions. So I hope you join Fix Your Arm Swing in 21 Days and the Elite Performers Tribe. You can find them below as soon as you're done watching this video. Rotate on it. That was your bicep flexed, your lat flexed, and that tightened you down. Better, better. Come on. Open rotation, open rotation. Rotate it. Ooh, that sounded nice. Show me the rotation again. There. So allow yourself to get to from here, this position. Then you head in front of your tricep for a second. There. Yeah. Ready? Ooh, good high snap. Hey! You wanna look at that? That's gonna be a window. Let it run for five seconds. Hopefully we get in slow motion. Uh, you know what, we'll come back to it. Let's get three more so we'll know to go back to the fourth one. Here we go. That was perfect. Feel it again. You're under it. You were loose. Yeah. Yeah. Tight. Early, under it, tight. Tight. Oh! Ooh! This one, you seem under it. Yeah. 
can see when I Whoa, but that's pretty good. But then I clubbed through that one. So that's really good rotation. Okay. Yeah, but we want to see, um, Isaac taught me this, but this hand lag behind it. So. Oh, and not be flexed behind it. Is that what well, your hand right now should be completely vertical and far back. Or sorry, horizontal. So your forearm should be horizontal at this point. Oh, and it's And so it should be really trailing. Okay. So it's got that arc to it. Let's see this one. Just a tight one. Kind of a little bit of rotation. But a snappy hand. Yeah. So that was tight, right? You felt mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So your hand didn't trail. Okay. You didn't rotate. It was just you coming forward. Okay. This might be it. Phew. Ooh. That's pretty good. Looks like a whip. Yep. So your hand trailed further behind you. Yeah. So we're gonna run a little experiment right after this to see. So this was maybe your best hit, right? Technically. Yeah. At this point, your elbow should be behind your head though. Okay. So I want your hand to get far back so that you feel when you come through this tricep and lat stretch hard. So here, here, right? I want it to pull back and then almost like actively throw your hand backwards as your elbow rotates. Try it. So hang on, let me touch you. Okay, rotate up. There. Now it'll come through on its own. No, because you have rotated at this point. Okay. Yes. Feel how heavy your hand feels right now? No, tight. That's fine, you can keep your feet forward and still keep your hand heavy. Hand heavier, no. Trail it, there, good, rotate. Yes, yes, that one, good. So your hand's not doing anything. It's dead weight, everything else rotates through it. Try it a couple more times. Good. Rotate first. So remember that this initiates this. So at the same time that your chest starts to rotate, then your arm starts to rotate. So your chest comes forward and your hand goes back. And then your hand wants to come through on its own. That. That. Now. Ah, I like this exercise. Heather, show the people at home a great exercise for javelin throwers, which is still torque. Boom. Yep. 100% agreed. And it was effortless, right? You tried the least on that swing. That's nice. Okay. Getting looser. Rotate loose, rotate loose. Muscly. Because you can tell when your hand just kind of like stops there that you weren't completely relaxed, right? If we're gonna hit hard, we're gonna go all the way through. Sometimes when we're tight, when there's a blocker there, we can generate that whip up there, but loose. Rotate, 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 looseness. Right? Feel that again. Go through that with your chest right now. That. That. Ooh, that was looser. Ooh! 
That's it. <laughs> so if, if you do get a lower set and you have to rush through it, you have to pull the trigger quicker, right? When we have a higher set, we have a little bit longer time to kind of open up. And then sometimes we feel like we don't, so we don't open up because we rush, so we just stay here instead of cocking it back quicker, right? If we had that low set, the ideal thing would be going through it quick. And that's why I was trying to get you in the beginning to retreat faster, like. Good open window, you're just a tiny bit early. There you go. Rotate loose, loose, rotation, rotation. That's nice. We'll look at that after. Yeah. <laughs> so biggest fixes. What did, what did you feel? Um, loosening the arm. I just, I can't be, I can't muscle through it. Can't muscle through it. So it's got to be whippy, not whippy hard. It just can't be. You can't be trying to swing through it in like a muscular way. <laughs> I get it, <laughs> yeah. nice. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and don't forget to click on the link below so that you can check out our course, Fix Your Arm Swing in 21 Days. It's got every drill, video, and live analysis packed into it. I hope you join the group and I will see you at betteratbeach.com. Shoot me any questions if you got them. Comment in here, make sure you've liked the video. Subscribe, this is my 18th hour of filming today. Hope you guys are having a good day. Check it later.